Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week I posted that Microsoft had begun the rollout of this year's annual feature update, Windows 11 24H2, to the release preview channel insiders where customers uh, in the release preview can check out the update ahead and preview the update ahead of general availability later this calendar year. And that is expected to start rolling out to the general public um, I would suggest the end of September moving into October, November, and I'll leave that video in the end screen if you'd like some more information. Now, there have been a couple of complaints during the rounds um, from insiders in release preview um, who are not seeing 24H2 showing up as an update, as a feature update uh, in release preview. So if you are one of those insiders, you're not alone. Um, there's been quite a lot of complaints about this, and Microsoft is aware and have basically updated the 24H2 release uh, documentation for the release preview channel that basically the update is rolling out slowly. So it's rolling out using a controlled rollout, but there is a workaround you can do if you want to install it right away if you are in the release preview channel. Now, if we head up to that updated documentation, which was updated on the uh, 29th, which was yesterday in my region, basically if you are not seeing the update, Microsoft says, We've just begun the rollout and will gradually increase the rollout over time so not everyone will see right away. So they basically they are using a controlled phased rollout, which is quite normal. So that's the reason why. Now, if you are in a hurry and you are not seeing the update on your Windows update page, so basically your device hasn't been discovered yet by Microsoft to push that update out. Um, if you want to update right away, you can do so by using the ISO, which are available for download here. And I'll leave this download link for the page in the description. So just take note though, it only applies if you are in the Insider program. If you are not an Insider, you will not be able to download this ISO. So just take note of that. And uh, um, the ISO is built 26,100.560. But once you update using the ISO, and join release preview, you'll get billed 26,100.712. And obviously, uh, that would be using an in-place upgrade to perform the update and not a clean install. So just take note of that. So that's basically the workaround uh, if you're not seeing it. And you can download that ISO, which will be in the description. And um, just wanted to put it out there because um, there have been a couple of reports during the rounds that there have been complaints in that regard. Because obviously, this year's annual feature update is a major update. And as we have been posting, um, if you don't have a Copilot Plus PC, then you will get the so-called normal features. So Copilot Plus PCs um, will be getting the full house of AR features, which will be Windows Recall and so on. And um, I'll leave a playlist in the end screen of this video for 24H2 where you can go check out more information if you haven't done so already. But just a quick recap for some of the so-called have normal features and non-AR features that will be rolling out to um, the general public later this year. As mentioned, there's quite a lot going on, but just to a quick recap, um, some of them include um, sudo for Windows, HDR background support, improved energy saver, Wi-Fi 7 support, the new AR features as mentioned, and the full house of those AR features will be going to Copilot Plus PCs. Uh, Rust in the Windows kernel, improved archive support, and a whole lot more. So this is going to be a major update, and it's also going to remove WordPad, which is a legacy component of the OS, and it will also remove um, the AC3 codec, which I posted on yesterday, and I'll also leave that video in the end screen. So there you have it. That's just a quick update. If you are an insider and not seen 24H2 in release preview, you can download that ISO and speed up the process if you'd like to do so. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.